Hello, DP. It feels as though it's been ages. We are very excited about today's show because, well... We have a pumpkin! It's just the best conjoined pumpkin ever! It was a two-for-one deal. Today, this little guy is joining us to say it's DP News. And it... Starts now! now. We'd like to start off our show by giving a big shout out to Aiden Yamasaki for winning Honor Cadet Team in NCOS this weekend. This is a huge accomplishment, so make sure to congratulate him with the highest of fives if you see him today. We also would like to welcome our new segment, Tech Tips Tuesday. Hey DP, Paul here with your first tech tip. iOS 11 has changed the way that split screen works. If you're in an app and you want to bring up another alongside it, gently swipe up from the bottom of the screen to bring up the dock. Next, hold down on the app you want to display and drag it to the side of the screen. If you want the app to be alongside the other instead of covering it up, just swipe upwards at the very top of the new window. That's all for today, DP. Have a great week. Tune in next week for another tech tip from the team. The Scholarship Foundation of Santa Barbara is taking place this Thursday, October 5th from 9 a.m. till 1240 p.m. in the Career Center. Students can meet with a program advisor to assist in filling out scholarships for colleges. Schedule an appointment, head on into the counseling office, and remember, get a signed pass from your teacher. On another note, the deadline for your DACA work permit renewal application is due the day after tomorrow. In order to be eligible for renewal, you must have a work permit that expires on or before March 5, 2018. Also, Immigrant Hope is filing for renewals, filling renewals, wait, filing renewals for clients without charge, paying for the full cost, and paying for the full cost of the application. Good one, Lindsay. For all you seniors out there, tomorrow Chapman University will be here at 2 p.m. in the library and Seattle Pacific University is coming on Friday at 2.30 in the library. Don't miss out on these college visits and remember, still get signed pass from your teacher to go check them out. The Artist of the Month entries are being accepted for October, so if you want to join the running for this title, make sure to turn in four pieces of art to room A6 by October 11th. Winners will have their art proudly displayed in the library for the month and will get a prize at the end of the year in the DP Art Show. All art forms are welcomed with open arms. The National Honor Society and the California Scholarship Federation Spring 2017 membership is happening now, but it is new and improved. It's all online. You must go to the DP website, fill out the link to complete your membership under news and announcements, look for your ID number, and complete the required information. The due date is October 25th, whatever that is, and if you have any questions, go ask Susie Stone. This is, the only, this is only available to 10th, 11th, and 12th graders. Sorry, freshmen. Remember, sophomores and juniors, the PACT, the PACT and the PSAT are taking place on October 11th. On this day, seniors will do, be doing the senior lip dub and senior portraits. That's all we've got for you today, Chargers. But we will see you soon, so don't fret. For now, this is Judah filling in for Nolan. And Lindsay. Signing, signing off. Out. Here's Caleb and Pierce. And no, it's Caleb and Maggie. <laughs> Pierce is not here anymore. With your sports update. <laughs> Hey Chargers, it's Caleb and Maggie and we're here with your sports report. Boys Water Polo has four games this week. On Tuesday they will play at Buena and on Thursday they will host San Marcos at 315. And on Saturday the boys will host Servite at 9 and Royals at 1. Cross Country has two races this week. On Wednesday the runners will be at Lake Casitas in Ventura and Saturday they will be at Woodward Park in Clovis. Girls Tennis plays just once this week on the road on Tuesday at San Marcos. Girls Golf has two matches this week. On Tuesday the girls continue league play against the San Marcos Royals. And on Thursday the girls will have a non-league matchup with Oxnard. Girls Volleyball plays tonight at home against Santa Barbara. The game is at 6.30 in the Sovine Gym, so be sure to help create a home court advantage for our girls. For more on the game, let's send it over to Sophia with the live interview. Hi, I'm Sophia here with Grace Crozier and Allison Minnick from Varsity Volleyball. So what's the tradition you guys have for your volleyball team? 
So every night before our home games, we always hit the door before we come out onto the court. And then when we're having our team huddle, we always put our right foot in as we're talking as a team to get ready for the game. That's really cool. Um, have you ever hit someone with a volleyball? Uh, yeah, I actually hit my friend Allie, shout out to Allie Mincer, um, and accidentally gave her a concussion. That's not good. Um, so what do you want the crowd to do tonight at your game? Um, just we want everyone to come out and be rowdy tonight and help us and cheer us on so we can beat SB. Yeah, it's our first league home game, so come out and be rowdy. That's awesome. So make sure to come out here at 6.30 here in the gym and wear your DP gear. Back to you guys at the studio. Thanks, Sophia. I can't wait to rep my new senior shirt in the gold mine tonight. If you're interested in buying a senior shirt or have any other Charger gear to buy, go to the athletics office at lunch or the gym lobby after school. The gear is perfect for wearing to school or wearing to a sporting event like Friday night football games. Speaking of football, the boys play at home this week at 7 against Ventura Cougars. So be sure to pack the stadium and be wearing blue and white this Friday night. Attention all boys interested in trying out for the soccer team here at DP. You must attend a two-day tryout set to take place on October 12th and 13th from 3.15 to 6. Tryouts will test a variety of skills and fitness levels, so please be sure to bring the following. Cleats, shin guards, soccer socks, athletic clothing, water, and a picture or printout of your current grades. If you are busy balling in a fall sport, don't worry. There will be a separate tryout for you at the end of your season. But if you are a fall sport player, please stop by Mr. York's room and let him know that you intend on trying out. Fall sports star Jake Ramirez was balling out last Thursday and received Athlete of the Week at the Santa Barbara Athletic Roundtable Luncheon yesterday. The quarterback led Dos Pueblos to its fifth straight football win, throwing for two touchdowns and rushing for a pair in a 42-7 victory over. He completed 11 of 14 passes for 184 yards with no interceptions and rushed for 66 yards on seven carries. And now back to Judo with the world update. Hello Chargers, it's been a dark week in America and I'm here to bring you an update on the Las Vegas shooting. Police have been unable to find any sort of motive from the shooter but he was found dead in his 32nd floor hotel room with 23 weapons when the SWAT team moved in following the attack. As of now, there have been at least 59 deaths and over 500 injuries. These injuries affected several Santa Barbara residents, including Brian and Laura Mack. Both are hospitalized, but are expected to make a full recovery. In times like this, America becomes one race again and stands together. And in this sad times, many Americans want to help. So there are GoFundMes for many victims where you can help with their hospital bills, and also another way to help is to donate blood if you're eligible. For these stories and links, head to dpnews.org.